da 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 We going on? Are we going on? Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome out here to Benjamin Logan High School. We're getting geared up for a great CBC Mad River Division game between the Indy Lake Lakers and the Benjamin Logan Raiders. I'm Tyler Avila, joined alongside Ryan Schofsell. Ryan, thanks for coming out on such a short notice. I do appreciate it. Hey, you're welcome. Appreciate um, uh, that you considered me, and uh, we'll go from there. <laughs> oh, yeah, for sure. It's going to be a great game, great local rivalry game between the Indian Lake Lakers and the Benjamin Logan Raiders. The Lakers are coming in at 9-5, and 4-1 in the conference. Benjamin Logan coming on, uh, coming in at 1-14, 1-5. Uh, They're in the Mad River Division of the CBC. Both teams coming off of losses on Tuesday. Indy Lake lost on the road in double OT to Jonathan Alder, 68-63. Bell Fountain beating Benjamin Logan here on Tuesday, 59-48. We'll take a quick pause, be back with the national anthem here on Mix 98.3 WPKO and PeakofOhioTV.com. Great job there from the Benjamin Logan Band bringing us the national anthem. Last time these two teams played was back in early December at Indian Lake, and the Lakers won 76 to 54, a 22-point win there for the Lakers over these Benjamin Logan Raiders. And I know Benjamin Logan will looking to defend the home court tonight. And the PA announcer right now going over the starting five for the Indian Lake Lakers. So Ryan, I'm gonna have you give the starting five there for the Lake. All right, we got Indian Lake. We got Caden Nickel, number five. Uh, Caleb Worcester, senior, number 10. We have 21, Camden Tuttle, 22, Luke Jackson, and number 44, Logan Evans. A.K.A. Big Smooth. Big Smooth. <laughs> <laughs> All 
All right, for the Benjamin Logan Raiders tonight, we got number one, a senior, Alec Rodenberger. Another senior, number four, Austin McGowan. You got number 12, Ty Anspaugh. Number 23, Brashawn Jacobs. And number 24, Brady Burry. They're starting five tonight for the Benjamin Logan Raiders. Now some key players to look out for in tonight's basketball game will be Alec Rodenberger for Benjamin Logan. That's got Caden Nickel for Indian Lake. He is the number three scorer right now in the CBC with about 16 points a game. So he's been having a heck of a season as a sophomore this year. All right. The Raiders. Getting coached up here before tip-off tonight. And well, you know, tonight's game is brought to you by McDonald's of Indian Lake. A large iced coffee is still just two bucks at Indian Lake McDonald's, just off 33 in Russell's Point. And your opening quarter is brought to you by Roof and Benchick Law Office in Canton, Ohio. Worcester and Burry there in the center circle awaiting the tip-off tonight. Balls up, and one there by Benjamin Logan. Rodenberger gets it across the timeline. Shades to the left side at the wing. Raiders passing it around. McGowan with it. Tries to spin away there from Luke Jackson. Drives the center lane. No good. Rebound goes to the lake. Worcester. Going coast to coast, tries to go through two defenders. Layup no good, but he is fouled. Go to line for two. They got Brady Burry there with the foul. His first, team's first. On the year for Caleb Worcester, he is shooting 59% from the charity strike. Knocks home the first. First point of the game for either squad. Second one up and no good. In the last couple games that I've seen for Indian Lake, free throws have kind of been their kryptonite. Benjamin Logan now on offense. Baseline drive, kick out. Three point shot in the corner is good there by Rodenberger. Rodenberger for three. Gives Benjamin Logan the first lead tonight by two. Tuttle now with it. Finds Luke Jackson. Jackson kicks out. Nickel wide open. Top of the key. Three in and out. No good. Rodenberger now. Gives it to McGowan. Look down low. Stolen there by the lake. Jackson pushing it up. Slowing things down now. Comes outside the perimeter. Evans now. Lakers swinging it. Tuttle. His three from the left wing. No good. In and out. Both teams still trying to get a feel for each other here in the opening minutes. It's three to one. Benjamin Logan on top on your Quest Federal Credit Union scoreboard. Six and a half to go here in the first quarter. Rodenberger with it, right side wing. Gives it to McGowan. And down in the right corner to Burry. High pass, no good, goes out of bounds. Another turnover there for Benjamin Logan. Six fourteen here to go on this Friday night at Benjamin Logan High School in the first quarter. The Raiders have a two-point lead, 3-1 over Indian Lake. Nickel drives in. His little mid-range jumper is good. Tie ball game. Anspaugh looking down low there to Jacobs. His kick out pass, no good, intercepted. Lakers pushing up, nickel now. Loses it, picks it back up, finds Worcester, left wing three, good. And he like back on top now by three, six to three. Jacob's trying to find someone on the left side block. Kicks out there to Ansball. Now McGowan, fake the three, drives baseline, kicks out. The Raiders moving the ball around. Burry drives in, kisses it off the glass. The 
Raiders down by one, six to five. Three-point shot, deep three from Luke Jackson, no good. Under five minutes to go here on your Quest Federal Credit Union School Board. Any link on top, six to five. Benjamin Logan has possession. But right now looks down low to the Jacobs. Got the mismatch on Luke Jackson. Gets his own board. Second opportunity, no good. Rebound goes to Tuttle. Andy Lake now pushing it up. Nickel gets the shot off. Wow. Cade Nickel plays like a much older player than he a does. sophomore. God, he does. And he's leading the team in rebounds, too. Like, he's one of the smaller guys out there. And he just... You know, he, his energy is just nonstop. I mean, it, I don't think his tank goes empty. I don't think so either. Missed layup there by Luke Jackson. Benjamin Logan down on their end of the court. They get the offensive board. Jacobs now puts up a little hook. Two short rebound there. Goes to Jacobs. Great fight there offensively for Benjamin Logan. Shot there by Rodenberger from the outside. Three, no good. Tuttle now driving in, kicks out Worcester wide open in the left corner, no good. Still eight to five, Indy Lake on top. On your quest, Federal Credit Union school board. Wide open shot there from McGowan, his three point opportunity, no good. Nickel pulls up for a three. Off the back rim. They're gonna get a foul there. On Benjamin Logan. Come in, Ants ball. Second foul there for the Raiders. Ants ball's first. End of the game, we got Logan Murphy and Lucas Schwederman for Indian Lake. We got EJ Martin in for Benjamin Logan. Worcester off the inbound three, no good. Rebound goes to the lake. They're going to say nickel travel there as he was trying to kick out there to Logan Murphy. Coach Saylor definitely has to be proud of how his Raiders are playing so far. And call it travel there down low on the left block there on McGowan. Eight to five here at Benjamin Logan High School. Indy Lake has the lead on your quest. Federal Credit Union scoreboard, 3.05 here to go. Nickel drives in, baseline kicks out. Sweeterman now with it for a three. His shot no good, rebound goes to Murphy. He tries to put it up and in, no good, but he's fouled doing so. He'll go to the line for two. Try to extend this Laker league. Jacobs picks up his first. That's the Raiders' third team foul this first half. Murphy misses the first. Second one from Logan Murphy. Up and in and out, no good. And he likes one for four at the charity stripe tonight. Defensive pressure turned up a notch there for Indian Lake. Benjamin Logan, they do get it on their side of the court. Break the press. Burry with it, gives it to McGowan. He's double teamed there at the right side wing. Back to Burry. He drives baseline. His pass. Tip intercepted by the lake. Jackson looking for Worcester. What a shot there. Worcester extends the lead. He has six tonight. Timeout called by Benjamin Logan. Full timeout called. We'll take a timeout here with him. On your Quest Federal Credit Union scoreboard, any lake on top by five, 10 to five over Benjamin Logan here on Mix 98.3 WPKO and peakofohiotv.com. As a member-owned financial institution, we stack the deck in your favor. Fewer fees, more frees. Quest Federal Credit Union puts our owners in a position to succeed by offering more opportunities to save where others choose to ding you for every service. Quest Federal Credit Union, member-owned since 1969. Bank better. 
Quest Federal Credit Union. Explore the possibilities. NCUA insured, membership eligibility required, equal opportunity lender. Welcome back here at Benjamin Logan High School on Mix 98.3 WPKO and PeakofOhioTV.com. I'm Tyler Avila with Ryan Chostall. And you're like on top by five here early, or I should say late in this first quarter. Ten to five over Benjamin Logan. Ethan Miller checked into the game for Benjamin Logan during that timeout. Rodenberger now will bring it up for the Raiders. Looks like Andy Lake's playing a man defense there. Rodenberger now tries to make a move on Jacobs. He kicks out there to Martin. Now Burry. Back to McGowan. He drives in baseline. Rodenberger now with it. Under two minutes to go here in this first quarter on your Quest Federal Credit Union School Board. Tough pass, intercepted. But Luke, Luke Jackson got his pocket pick. That's Martin. He drives in, puts up a shot. Looks like it was blocked there from Nickel. He tries to save it. Goes out of bounds. It'll stay with Benjamin Logan. But what a recovery there by Indy Lake on the defensive front. Yeah, Caden and Nickel saw that coming, blocked the, that, and then the hustle going to get the ball even though it fell out of, that, fell out of bounds. McGonnell inbound. Didn't like the look he saw initially. Does get it into Rodenberger. And he like bringing the pressure to McGowan on the right, left side wing. Now Martin feeling the pressure. And it's stolen. Nice steal by Sweeterman. Nice feed. Worcester shot blocked there. Benjamin Logan now trying to push things up. 10 to 5 on the Quest Federal Credit Union scoreboard. Any Lake on top by 5 over Benjamin Logan. McGowan gets out of the double team, drives left side baseline, puts up a shot. No good, but he is fouled. I believe they're going to get Lucas Schwederman on the foul. That they do. Tuttle will be checking in here for Indian Lake. First one short there for McGowan. Luke Jackson will check out there for Indian Lake. 68 seconds here to go in this first quarter. Indian Lake on top by five. As McGowan misses both free throws. Nickel now will bring it up for the Lake. He kicks out. Schwedeman look for the three. Decides to drive in. Down low to Murphy. It's stolen. By Burry. Excuse me, that's Ethan Miller there with the steal. Rodenberger now. Faked right, went left. His layup no good. Still loose ball. No one has recovered it. Nickel there does get it for Indian Lake. He's weaving through players. Looks down low. There to Murphy on the baseline. His pass intercepted. 30 seconds here to go in the first quarter. Brady Burry there puts up the shot, cuts the lead to three. 20 seconds now. Worcester finds Schwederman in the right corner. Now Tuttle, left side wing three, short. Benjamin Logan has a chance to cut even more into this lead. They're down three, 10 to seven. Seven seconds left, three point shot up. In and out, no good. Rebound goes to Tuttle. He puts up a heave and at the buzzer, no good. So at the end of one here at Benjamin Logan, Indian Lake on top by three, 10 to seven. Here on Mix 98.3 WPKO and PeakofOhioTV.com. We will take a break. Be back with the second quarter action after this here on Mix 98.3 WPKO and PeakofOhioTV.com. Do you see a McDonald's restaurant and think of the great people that work there? We do. I'm Stacy Voorhees with your local McDonald's of Indian Lake. We are committed to our employees and our fans and invite you to consider working with us. Schedules are flexible to your availability and we are looking for smiles of all ages for all shifts. We hope you'll join our Indian Lake McFamily. To apply, just stop in at your Indian Lake McDonald's. McDonald's is an equal opportunity employer. That's McDonald's of Indian Lake, just off Route 33 in Russell's Point. We're back out here live at Benjamin Logan High School getting geared up for the second quarter. 
And this quarter is brought to you by Roof and Benchick Law Office there in Canton, Ohio. And on your Quest Federal Credit Union scoreboard. And you like on top by three, ten to seven. Ryan, what, what were some things that you saw from both teams out there in that opening quarter? So, I mean, there's a lot of energy from both teams going out there. I mean, I, this is a rivalry game, so you're going to expect that. Um, I think that, uh, you know, I think both teams are a little tight. I, a lot of misses between both teams, but um, we're going to see what things go on, go on as we get into the second, third quarter, and they get comfortable. Uh, Caleb Worcester taking a shot. That's another one, you know, hitting that there. So, um, we're just going to see see how Ben Logan can go in the second quarter and not let any leg get away too quick. Yeah, that was a great open look there from Worcester at the high elbow. Extends the lead back to five for Indian Lake. Missed there, offensive board for Benjamin Logan. Shot up off to the right there for Rodenberger. There's a foul on the floor. Great sportsmanship there between both teams, Rodenberger and Tuttle. Rodenberger picks up his first, team's fourth foul. <coughs> Worcester will bring it across the timeline at the top of the key. Looks down low there to Evans. Evans shot, gets the friendly rolling in, big smooth with the basket. Rodenberger now pushing up, deep three there by Martin. Hits off the back rim, no good, rebound goes to the lake. Luke Jackson now. Pushing it up for the Lakers. Tuttle drives center lane wide open. Layup is good. And you like starting to put their foot on the gas pedal, trying to have Benjamin Logan play at their pace. They're up by nine, 16 to seven. Largest lead of the game so far. Nice look there from Burry off a little bit. Gut gets his own rebound. Ball does go out of bounds. He'll stay with Benjamin Logan. Russian Jacobs and Austin McGowan check in for Benjamin Logan. Nickel checks back in for the lake. 6.39 here to go in the first half. Any lake on top. 16 to 7. Scratch that. Make that 16 to 9 with an N1. Coming to Jacobs' way. Logan Evans there with the foul. Play, plays like that's going to be what's going to keep Ben Logan in this game. They've got to get to him, get to Jacobs and um, just force. A, you saw some of that action in the first quarter, mm -hmm. and uh, we'll see if they're going to use that, if they can just keep uh, keep any lake slowed down just a little bit from uh, running away. Nickel drives in, kicks out Worcester now, driving baseline from the right side. He loses it. Benjamin Logan now pushing it. That's Ants ball with it. McGowan drives in, right side lane. Find Jacobs there on the baseline. He kicks back out. Does that look like Jacobs really wants to try to do much with it? He, then he tries and he gets stolen. Jackson now pushing it up off the steal. Puts up the shot. Blocked there by Rodenberger. Ansball trying to get away from this double team pressure from Indian Lake. Finally does. Gives it to Rodenberger. He pulls up at the charity strike. Knocks it home. 16 to 11 now. Pick smooth with a deep three off, off a little bit there to the left side. Benjamin Logan's really shown some fight here in the second quarter, Ryan. Yeah, I, they've they've really handled any Lake's pressure too to start off. It, um, you know, any Lake if you the game the other night against Jonathan Alder, that's what got him back in and got to that double O time. So, you know, seeing Ben Logan able to handle that as well as they have so mm -hmm. far, um, and you know we're back to three point game. Yeah, McGowan drove left side baseline, got his shot up. It's now 16-13. Benjamin Logan on a 6-0 run here at, uh, at home against the Indian Lake Lakers. On your Quest Federal Credit Union scoreboard, 16-13. Indian Lake will check in. Jacobs with it. Gets it across the timeline. Screen there from Worcester. Now Nickel with it off the bounce pass. 
Great defense there by Benjamin Logan. Nickel now drives in baseline, puts up a reverse shot, blocked! What a block there by Jacobs for Benjamin Logan. McGowan now finds Burry. Deep pass there from Burry across the court. Three-point shot up, no good, but he's fouled. That was not a shooting foul. Jackson picks up the picks up the foul. I'm surprised they didn't. I'm, I'm surprised on that too. Um, you know, a lot of times, even through continuation, you know, shooter will get the get the benefit of the doubt and get three on that one. Nonetheless, Benjamin Logan will keep it. They have possession. Burry with it. Finds Ants ball. He comes to the top of the key from the right side corner. Finds Rodenberger now, right side wing. So three-point ball game, Any Lake on top by three, 16 to 13 on the Quest Federal Credit Union scoreboard. Under four and a half to go in the first half. Gray look down low, kick out there from Ants ball. He finds Rodenberger, his shot's blocked. Nickel now pushing it up, gets past the defender, lays the layup in. Back to a five-point ball game now. Indy Lake on top, 18-13. Rodenberger now looks to drive in, comes back, finds Jacobs, right corner. He backs down Evans. Burry now with it. Great defense there by Nickel. Burry finds Jacobs. He drives in, puts up a little floater. What a shot. Freshman Jacobs with his second basket. He has four points tonight. And a steal. And yeah, Jacobs got, was right there down in the center of the lane as Worcester was looking down low, got the steal. I'd say all momentum right now is heading towards Benjamin Logan. They're down by three with the basketball. Rodenberger drives in, gets it to fall in. One point ball game now, 18-17. Indian Lake with that one point lead. Evans with it, right wing, gives it to Jackson. Wide open for a three, no good. Benjamin Logan looking to take their first lead since they were up 3-1 to one earlier in that first quarter. And the whistle, they're going to say, Rodenberger traveled. Under three here to go in the first half. E.J. Martin into the game for Benjamin Logan. Indy Lake on top by one, 18-17 on your Quest Federal Credit Union scoreboard. Worcester hands it off to Tuttle. There is a foul. McGowan's going to be called for that foul. McGowan's first. Ben Logan's fifth team foul. Tuttle off the handoff. He has it. Looks down low to Jackson on the right side block. He's double team. High lob pass there to Worcester, now Nickel. Pump fakes, drives in, puts up a little floater, no good, rebound goes to Benjamin Logan. McGowan with it, gives it now to Rodenberger. On the far side of the basketball court, comes to, towards the center. Fakes right, goes left, now top of the key, timeout called there by Benjamin Logan. Great timeout call there by Coach Saylor. The momentum's still on your side. You're down one. You're at home. What's this talk like with about two minutes left to go in this first half? I think right now we just tell them to keep your composure. Right now they're they're playing strong. They've handled the pressure. Um, I really think that uh, you know he can go in if he can keep this uh, keep this like this or even get get that bucket and get that lead going into halftime. That's going to be a huge momentum going into the second half for Ben Logan. Oh, for sure. Yeah, and Benjamin Logan, I mean, things have not gone their way this season. We've talked about it all throughout the year, especially having Coach Saylor on Chalk Talk earlier this year. And the more these guys have played varsity minutes, the better they have gotten week in and week out, and you're seeing it right now, hanging in with Indian Lake here at home. I mean, the last time these teams played, Indian Lake came out on top by 22. And Benjamin Logan keep things how they are and keep up with the pace of Indian Lake, they could squeak away with a home victory. Ronenberger now drives in. 
Pass goes out of, out of bounds. Who are they going to See, they're going to say last touch there by a Raider, so Indian Lake will take it. That ball went sailing out of bounds. No. My goodness. Yeah, and that, that's um, just looking some of the things that that they've had. That you know, that's a couple unforced turnovers that they they've had in this that uh, would have gave them you know give them that lead if he gets that shot off instead of you know losing the ball. So now yeah. Indian Lake back with it. Yeah, they're passing it around. Schwederman now to Tuttle. Worcester. Picks up his dribble, finds Jackson on the right side wing. He takes a screen from Nickel. Hopstep, shot up and in. Nice strong move by Jackson there. His first basket tonight. Sends lead back to three, 20 to 17, Indy Lake on top. Martin now drives in, loses it, picks it back up, blocked there by Schwederman. Worcester pushing it up, Hopstep, Little floater there, no good. Jacobs wanted to hand it off. He didn't really want to dribble there, but he had to. They do get it across court, Benjamin Logan does. McGowan backs down, puts up a shot, no good. Rebound goes to the lake. Under a minute here to go in the first half. Total with a three, no good, off the back rim. Benjamin Logan with it, they're down by three, 20 to 17, 45 seconds here to go on the Quest Federal Credit Union School Board in the first half. Rodenberger with it. Deep pass there to Martin, look down low there to Jacobs, he puts it up, kisses it off the glass. Nice ball movement by Ben Logan there to get the ball into Jacobs. Down by one now, 20 to 19, under 30 seconds to go, Indian Lake with it. I'm sure they'll hold it for the last shot. Worcester pulls up. His shot short. Benjamin Logan now has the opportunity to get the last shot before the halftime break. They're down by one. Martin now gives it to McGowan. He drives in, spins around. Loose ball now. Ball goes out of bounds. Feeling I say his last touch by. I think that was last touch by uh, Sweeterman there. He uh, came in to disrupt uh, McGowan there and uh, knocked it away. And Ben Logan still gets a chance for uh, eight seconds to go here with uh, the quarter. McGowan gets it in there to Rodenberger. Seven seconds now and counting. Rodenberger pulls up inside the free throw and knocks it home. And at the halftime buzzer, Alec Rodenberger bringing the Raiders back. They're now up one at the half, 21 to 20 over the Indian Lake Lakers. We'll be back. Look at your halftime stats. Coming up here at Unmix 98.3 WPKO and PeakofOhioTV.com. Scott Griffith for Lee's Famous Recipe on the north side of Bell Fountain. Get eight pieces of chicken or eight jumbo breast strips for $16.99. Add the upside pack for $8 more and get two large sides and four biscuits. Only at Lee's Famous for Chicken. And we're hiring. We want smiling faces, great cooks, and future leaders. Starting pay is $10, $12, $15 or more for the right person. To apply, text Lee's to 22100 or go to leesmiamivalley.com. As a member-owned financial institution, we stack the deck in your favor. Fewer fees, more frees. Quest Federal Credit Union puts our owners in a position to succeed by offering more opportunities to save where others choose to ding you for every service. Quest Federal Credit Union, member-owned since 1969. Bank better. Quest Federal Credit Union. Explore the possibilities. NCUA insured. Membership eligibility required. Equal opportunity lender. Welcome back here to Benjamin Longan High School on Mix 98.3 WPKO and peakofohiotv.com. I'm Tyler Avila along with Ryan Shovestall. 
And at the halftime break here on your Quest Federal Credit Union School Board, Benjamin Logan is on top by one over the visiting Indian Lake Lakers, 21 to 20. And it was a very strong second quarter there for the Raiders to them to bounce out and take this halftime lead, led by Alec Rodenberger with nine points. What can you tell me, Ryan, about these, this Raiders team in that first half? Um, I think the biggest thing I'm seeing is that they're moving the ball well. They're being patient with with the ball. Um, you know, there, there's been a couple forced passes that have that have went, but for the most part, overall, they've uh, they've really stayed within themselves. Um, they're getting the ball, you know, to the open man, getting the shots off uh, when they need to, and uh, they've really handled the pressure that Indian Lakes tried to put on them here uh, with the three-quarter pressure that they've tried to hit them with. Yeah, Benjamin Logan has had some great success here tonight, breaking that pressure from Indian Lakes defense, and they're really playing with a lot of heart tonight. You wouldn't think that this team is coming into this game 1-14 uh, with how they're playing this evening. And Raider Nation has to be proud having a halftime lead over the Indian Lake Lakers, 21-20. Speaking of those visiting Lakers, leading the way is Caleb Worcester at the half with eight points. Caden Nickel has six. So what, what, was, what was it like out there for the lake? Um, I think the lake's just uh, one of the things is, you know, like I said, Ben Logan's kept their pace, you know. So they haven't gotten into a track meet with any lake. That is one of any lake strength. When they can get and they can run, they can get those open shots. They extend it with the three, um, and and that's where Indian Lake it plays their strongest. Ben Logan has slowed it down enough that Indian Lake cannot get into their uh, groove here in the first half. Yeah, and um, they're keeping it in their game. I mean, they're playing much better, like you said, than this one than a one in fourteen team. And um, I mean, I'm impressed with what they've done this first half. Yeah, I mean, both teams coming out here. I talked to Coach Overturf a week or two ago. It was it was two weeks ago because I was talking to him heading into the game with Val Fountain, and he's like, throw the records out the window. You're doing it right here tonight. Throw the records out the window. This is a local hometown rivalry game between two teams who really know each other, and it's showing right now with a low-score game. The Raiders on top by one, 21 to 20 on your Quest Federal Credit Union scoreboard. You want to mention tonight's game is brought to you by McDonald's of Indian Lake. A large iced coffee is still just two bucks. Uh, Indian Lake McDonald's just off 33 in Russell's Point. Our high school boys basketball schedule is winding down for you here uh, with our broadcast schedule. We got tonight's game, Indian Lake at Benjamin Logan, and then here on Mix 98.3 WPKO, on Tuesday, February 4th, we'll be out live at Bell Fountain as the Chieftains will host the Kitten Ridge Cougars. And then we'll wrap things up here on the mix for the regular season at Riverside as the Pirates will be hosting Covington. Those games will get tipped off right around 7.30 next week. we got a couple games going on on the bowl as well for you as we round out the regular season of high school boys basketball. And it's crazy to say that. We're rounding out the regular season of high school boys basketball. It is. I can't believe that uh, you know February is just right around the corner. Um, this season's gone so fast. It it's has. been been so nice to actually you know um, be able to get out and you know on a regular basis be able yeah. to get and see get to see all the games. Oh, for sure. It's <clears throat> excuse me. It's been a pleasure to come out here and call all these games and do them on Peak TV or PeakofOhioTV.com and. Call them on the radio, whether that be here on Mix 98.3 WPKO or over on 106.9 The Bull. We'll take another break. Again, on your Quest Federal Credit Union scoreboard, Benjamin Logan on top 21-20 to here on Mix 98.3 WPKO and peakofohiotv.com. Scott Griffith for Lee's Famous Recipe on the north side of Bell Fountain. Get eight pieces of chicken or eight jumbo breast strips for $16.99. Add the upside pack for $8 more and get two large sides and four biscuits. Only at Lee's Famous for Chicken. And we're hiring. We want smiling faces, great cooks, and future leaders. Starting pay is $10, $12, $15 or more for the right person. To apply, text Lee's to 22100 or go to leesmiamivalley.com. As a member-owned financial institution, we stack the deck in your favor. 
Fewer fees, more freeze. Quest Federal Credit Union puts our owners in a position to succeed by offering more opportunities to save where others choose to ding you for every service. Quest Federal Credit Union, member owned since 1969. Bank better. Quest Federal Credit Union, explore the possibilities. NCUA insured, membership eligibility required, equal opportunity lender. Do you see a McDonald's restaurant and think of the great people that work there? We do. I'm Stacy Voorhees with your local McDonald's of Indian Lake. We are committed to our employees and our fans and invite you to consider working with us. Schedules are flexible to your availability and we are looking for smiles of all ages for all shifts. We hope you'll join our Indian Lake Mc family. To apply, just stop in at your Indian Lake McDonald's. McDonald's is an equal opportunity employer. That's McDonald's of Indian Lake, just off Route 33 in Russell's Point. Welcome back out here to Benjamin Logan High School on Mix 98.3 WPKO and PeakofOhioTV.com. We do have another crew out calling the West Liberty Salem Mechanicsburg boys basketball game over on 106.9 The Bull. That's Scott Humphrey and uh, West Liberty Salem out to a very strong start at the halftime break. 24-2. They're on top by over Mechanicsburg at the halftime break. So Scott has a great game going on over on The Bull. Your game here tonight on Mix 98.3 WPKO and PeakofOhioTV.com. The Benjamin Logan Raiders, they're on top by one point, 21 to 20. And 90 seconds until we get the second half underway. But what was the talk like for Coach O in that halftime break? I mean, you're only down one, but Benjamin Logan, as we talked about during this break, they're keeping pace with these Lakers. I think Coach O, uh, he, he sat down with the guys and he's just telling them, hey, we're here. We've been here before. They just had a tough game the other night. Yeah. Um, you know, it doesn't matter. As you said before, Coach O talked about, you know, when you get to this game um, during the season, it doesn't matter what the record is. It's going to be a tough fight. It's been a little physical the first half uh, both ways. I think it's been very, you know, the officials are letting them play, which is, um, you know, basketball players uh, dream. They let the fish, let the kids play, let them play and. uh I think right now Coach O just wants to say, hey, guys, let's play our game. Just keep going. We're going to keep the pressure on, and uh, we'll see how things go. All right, looking over for Benjamin Logan. Wants to talk like with Coach Saylor heading into the second half. Up by one. How does he keep his team focused at the task at hand to come out on top? I think right now he gets he gets out there and he uh, goes, guys, you know, you've seen how we did the first half. Let's keep it going. Um, let's play our game. Let's keep our pace. I mean, you know, that's the thing. Any leg strength this year has been getting out and run. Oh, yeah. Um, you know, Ben Logan, they, uh, they're they coming out. They're playing well. I think they need to work on uh, continue doing what they're doing. Um, they're getting the balls to the open guy. They're getting the balls inside when they need to. And uh, I think this is going to be a good, exciting second half. And the second half is underway here at Benjamin Logan High School. The Raiders will have the basketball. Rodenberger with it, left side wing. A, a whistle early, and they're calling an offensive foul. Call him a gown. He his second. First team foul of the second half there for Benjamin Logan. Nickel now with it for Indian Lake. Now Jackson after the kick out, he hands it off there to Tuttle on the left side wing. He turns around, puts up a little jumper, his shot no good. Ansball now gets it across the timeline. Now Rodenberger with it. Drives down the center lane, kicks out Ansball. Back to Rodenberger. Trying to slow things down now and get the offensive play they want. McGowan picks up his dribble. Ansball now with it, right side wing. Goes towards the left side, now Burry with it. Down low to Jacobs on the left side block. Backs down Evans, shot no good, rebound goes to Indian Lake. Still a one point ball game here on the Quest Federal Credit Union School Board. Benjamin Logan on top, 21 to 20. Wide shot off the mark there from Luke Jackson. Rodenberger, finds McGowan, left side wing. Met up by Caden Nickel. 
Burry now with it. Finds Ants ball, right corner. He comes to the right side wing. Back to Rodenberger. He shades to the right side. Look down low there to Jacobs. Trying to recover the loose ball, and Benjamin Logan does. Three-point shot up. No good. Rebound goes to Benjamin Logan. Shot no good on the second opportunity. Still a loose ball. I'm going to say they were touched there on the baseline by a Raider. So Indy Lake will take over with 6-16 here going to the third quarter. They're down by 1, 21-20 on the Quest Federal Credit Union scoreboard. Nickel finds Tuttle, left side wing. Now in the corner is Worcester. Jackson kicks out back to Worcester. Now Nickel pulls up for a three. Short. Rebound goes to the lake. Jackson back and down. The left side block is shot no good. Nickel there with the offensive board. And on the third, fourth attempt, no good there from Indian Lake. And there's an elbow thrown, an unintentional elbow, as Jacobs was trying to secure the rebound. They call that on Luke Jackson. That whistle there. Luke's second foul. And he likes team, uh, first team foul. Rodenberger picks up a shot on the left side block. No good. Rebound goes to the lake. They're pushing it up. Worcester swings it to the left side wing to Tuttle. He drives in. Shot up. No good. A lot of shots taken. Nothing's fallen so far here in this third quarter. No, nothing's fallen for any, either team. That's, um, I think, you know, Ben Logan's been able to keep the pace, and there's uh, Jacobs with the two. Yeah, that was the first basket of the second half. Goes to Jacobs. Sends Benjamin Logan's lead to three, 23 to 20 on the Quest Federal Credit Union scoreboard. A great backdoor cut there by Evans. Cuts the lead back to one there. For Benjamin Logan, Indy Lake now down 23-22. Rodenberger with it. Drives left side, puts up a shot. And they're going to call it charge there on Rodenberger. Well, right there, that's just, uh, that's that's Big Smooth's uh, bread and butter. He, I've seen a number of games this year where he's taken multiple charges and uh yeah, he's, he's just one of those big guys that gets in there and, and knows when to step into play with the guards coming in. Exactly what he did there. Indy Lake now with it. Tuttle drives in. Puts up a little floater. Knocks it home. He has... Tuttle has four tonight. Indy Lake retakes the lead, 24-23. Jacobs is down on the floor. He gets up. Yeah, he went down pretty hard on that one. Luke Jackson just picked up his third foul. Looks like Coach Overturf will look to get his senior out of the game so he doesn't get any more fouls. So at the line is Jacobs. Shooting two. Misses the first. It's off the back rim. Jacobs does have an opportunity to tie the ball game up with his second free throw attempt. As Indy Lake is on top, 24-23. There were 4.21 to go in this third quarter, and he does tie it up. Jacobs has nine tonight, tied with Rodenberger for the leading scores for Benjamin Logan. And he'll take a seat, try to get right after that bad fall. Hopefully... He is okay. Nickel now with it. Tie ball game between Indy Lake and Benjamin Logan at 24. He drives in, puts up a shot, gets it to fall. Nickel has eight. Benjamin Logan quickly pushing it. Kick out there. Martin, he drives in, puts up a little fade away. His shot no good. Nickel Tough. now. His floater no good, gets his own rebound, puts it up, and he's fouled. What are you going to say? I was going to say, 
tough shot down there and then coming back it's I think right now Ben Logan's trying to press a little bit I think you can see it sort of in the the body language mm -hmm. and some of the stuff and I just I think they just need to any coach needs to just let them know you know let's let's keep let's keep our keep within ourselves Nickel hits home the first that's the third foul though for McGowan as well for Benjamin Logan it looks like coach Saylor will go to the bench Nickel knocks home the second. End of the game is Ethan Miller for Benjamin Logan. Indy Lake now on top by 4, 28-24. On the Quest Federal Credit Union scoreboard, 3.35 to go here in the third quarter. Martin with it, drives in, puts up a shot, gets it in, and the bucket, and the foul. Martin's first basket gets the traditional three-point play opportunity. Evans gets the foul. It's his second. So two-point ball game could turn to a one-point ball game depending on the free throw. It's up and in. Quick outlet pass there to Nickel. He finds Sweetman on the bounce pass. Now Worcester with it, left side wing. He drives in baseline. His pass tip intercepted by Benjamin Logan. The Raiders will bring it up, slowing things down a little bit. Now Burry with it, left side wing. Cross-court pass there to Miller. Now Ansball with it, right side wing. Burry pulls up for a three. No good. Had a good look. He was open there at the top of the key. Worcester now pushing it up for Indian Lake. Big smooth for a three. It's blocked. Great defensive play there by Burry. Anspaugh off the bounce pass. Gets it across the timeline. Back to Rodenberger. 2.45 here to go in the third quarter. Indian Lake up by one. 28-27 over Benjamin Logan. Tip pass. Nickel now pushing it up for the lake. His layup is good. Thirty to twenty-seven now. Indian Lake on top over Benjamin Logan. Anspaugh drives in right side baseline on the bounce pass, finds Rodenberger. He looked to drive in on the left side, finds Burry, his shot, no good. Loose ball rebound goes to Benjamin Logan. Second opportunity, no good there from Anspaugh, and there's a whistle on the floor. I believe they're going to get Anspaugh there. Actually, no, they got Brady Burry there. On the foul to his second. Logan Murphy into the game for Indian Lake. And good to see Jacobs. He's back in for Benjamin Logan. Tuttle with it. Right side wing. Now Worcester with it. Murphy not paying attention. Does get the basketball back. Hands it off to Nickel. His three-point shot's good. Caden Nickel has 15 tonight. Anspaugh loses it. It goes out of bounds. A minute 45 here to go in the third quarter. Indy Lake on top, 33-27. This quarter is brought to you by Roof and Benchick Law Office there in Kitten, Ohio. Timeout called by Benjamin Logan. 30-second timeout called. Should be 30. Should be 30? Should be 30-30. There was 30-27. They just put the points for uh, Tate Nickel, the three-pointer. They put that on Ben. Lo or I'm sorry, I take that back. I'm looking at the. So no, we're good here. Okay. All right. Just wanted to make sure. <laughs> <laughs> so 33-27. Any like on top there by six over Benjamin Logan on your Quest Federal Credit Union School Board. I mean, that timeout there was. That timeout was good there for Benjamin Logan because Indy Lake started to run away with it there late, and they want to try to slow things down with that timeout. Yeah, I think so. I, um, the one thing Indy Lake has is they got four starters that um, average basically 13 points or more a game. So yep. any one of them can take over a night, and um, Kate Nickel was starting to look like that player, and taking that timeout I think may slow that down, and we'll see what they can do from here. Worcester. Loses it on the drive. Still a loose ball. I recall a whistle on the floor. Foul call. 
I think they get Schwederman on the foul. Yes, they do. Schwederman picks up his second foul. Benjamin Logan will stay with the basketball. Down by six. Minute 25 here to go in the third quarter. Burry with it. Gets it across the timeline. Shading to the right side. Now looks left to Martin. Great hustle there by Martin, but not enough to save it. It does go out of bounds. And Link will take over after the turnover. Rodenberger set the check back in for Benjamin Logan. Brady Burry will take a seat and get a little bit of a rest. Nickel calling out the play for the lake. On the far sideline, pulls up for a three. Wide open, knocks it home. What a shot there by the sophomore. Eddie Lake back on top with their largest lead they had earlier in the game, nine. 36-27, under a minute to go. Eddie Lake on top over Benjamin Logan. Jacobs, spin moves, puts it up, and in, and the foul. Strong move, strong move. Jacobs has 11 on the night. He's really carried this Benjamin Logan offense just down low because he has that mix, uh, mix, mix match down low on the block. Looks like Murphy, that who they call a foul on. No good there on the free throw attempt. Indian Lake with it. They're pushing it up. Worcester kicks out the Tuttle. He pulls up for a three. Knocks it home. Camden Tuttle extends the lead to 10, the largest lead Indy Lake has had this basketball game. 39-29, 30 seconds to go here in the third quarter. Benjamin Logan has it. Rodenberger with it. And I call five seconds. Rodenberger had it way too long. The five-second call there, a turnover. Timeout called by Indian Lake. We'll take the time out with him. Back after this 30 second break here on Mix 98.3 WPKO and PeakofOhioTV.com. It puts our owners in a position to succeed by offering more opportunities to save where others choose to ding you for every service. Quest Federal Credit Union, member owned since 1969. Bank better. Quest Federal Credit Union, explore the possibilities. NCUA insured, membership eligibility required, equal opportunity lender. Back out here at Benjamin Logan High School and on your Quest Federal Credit Union school board coming out of the timeout. Indy Lake on top, 39-29 over the Raiders of Benjamin Logan. 20 seconds here to go in this third quarter. Nickel with it. Mismatch there on Jacobs, looks down low, pass stolen. Rodenberger. Pushing it up now for the Raiders. Loses it, recovers it, puts up a shot, knocks it home. Alec Rodenberger cutting the lead for Benjamin Logan. Shot up there from Worcester at the buzzer. Short hits off front of the rim, no good. So at the end of three, Indy Lake has battled back to take an eight-point lead, 39-31, here on your Quest Federal Credit Union School Board. We're back with the start of the fourth quarter after this. You're on Mix 98.3 WPKO and PeakofOhioTV.com. You see McDonald's restaurant and think of the great people that work there? We do. I'm Stacy Voorhees with your local McDonald's of Indian Lake. We are committed to our employees and our fans and invite you to consider working with us. Schedules are flexible to your availability, and we are looking for smiles of all ages for all shifts. We hope you'll join our Indian Lake Mc family. To apply, just stop in at your Indian Lake McDonald's. McDonald's is an equal opportunity employer. That's McDonald's of Indian Lake, just off Route 33 in Russell's Point. We're back out here at Benjamin Logan High School, waiting to start of the fourth quarter here on PeakofOhioTV.com and Mix 98.3 WPKO. Tyler Avila along with Ryan Showstall. What a third quarter that was. We talked about it during the break. There was no scoring for the first couple minutes, and then each team lit it up. Andy Lake put up 19 in that quarter, and Benjamin Logan with 10 for the eight-point ball game we have here for you right now with Andy Lake on top, 39-31. As we get the fourth quarter started, it is brought to you by Roof and Benchick Law Office there in Canton, Ohio. Worcester 
Drives in from the right side, looks down to the left block. Murphy is shot no good, but he does get fouled. He'll go to the line for two. Breshen Jacobs with the foul. It's his second foul. Logan Murphy puts up the first, knocks it home. Nine point ball game, 40 to 31 on your Quest Federal Credit Union scoreboard. Second one up, and no good. Benjamin Logan recovers, gets the rebound. Ants ball with it. Gets it across the timeline to McGowan. From the left side of wing. Now Rodenberger inside the circle has it. Bounce pass back to Anspaugh, right side wing. Nickel tries to get the steal, doesn't. Martin pulls up for a three. In and out, no good. Good look there from E.J. Martin. Tuttle now pushing up, finds Murphy, puts up the shot, no good. Too strong. Anspaugh now gives it to Rodenberger on the far sideline. Now towards the middle, drives in from the left side. Heavily guarded there, shot too short. Jackson now puts up the shot, no good. Nickel recovers, his shot no good. Still a loose ball on the floor. Benjamin Logan gets it. Rodenberger. <laughs> nice little hop step there, gets the basket to fall. What great look there from the senior for the Raiders. 40 to 33. The ball goes out of bounds. Benjamin Logan will take over possession. It seems like Indy Lake's playing at the pace of Benjamin Logan now. Rolls reversed. It does. It does. It's uh, you know, Ben Logan's come out. They've they, you know, turned it up a notch, but they're staying within themselves here. And and Indy Lake just has had a few shots just not go. And uh, you know, we're going to have an exciting six minutes to go here. Oh, for sure. Indy Lake on top by seven, 40 to 33. The Raiders with it as they're down by seven. McGowan down low, right block shot. Looks like it was blocked there by Tuttle. Last touch by a Raider goes out of bounds, so Indian Lake will take over. Pretty packed house here tonight for this great local CBC Mad River Division rivalry game here at Benjamin Logan High School. Nickel with it in between the timeline and the volleyball line. Gives it to Evans. Hands off to Jackson. He kicks out Nickel. Three-point shot up. In and out no good. Rebound goes to the Raiders. Rodenberger now gets it across the half-court line. Finds Ansball who drives in. Looks down low. McGowan puts it up. Knocks it home. He has four points tonight. Austin McGowan. Evans pulls up for a three. What a shot there by the big man. Knocks it home. That was a deep three for Logan Evans. Rodenberger too strong on his little layup. Nickel going coast to coast. He has 20 tonight. Martin now gives it to Burry, looks down low there to McGowan. Gets the shot off and good. Andy Lake calls a full timeout. Coach O wanted the charge, didn't get it. What'd you see down there? I think it was just a good move. I mean, as a defender, he got caught a little bit and he, uh, you know, tried to draw the charge. But I think it was a good offensive move. And you know, like I said, this is a good. It's been a physical game. It has. Off, you know, you don't want to. You don't want to see something taken away because they start calling fouls that that they hadn't called all game. 45-37, Indy Lake on top over Benjamin Logan here in the fourth quarter. I do have a score update for you over on 106.9 The Bull. West Liberty Salem there on top, 35-13 over Mechanicsburg. The end of the third quarter. So they'll get ready for some fourth quarter action over there on 106.9 The Bull. Great Champaign County rivalry game going on there tonight. Again here tonight on the Quest Federal Credit Union scoreboard, the Lakers on top, 45-37 over Benjamin Logan. 
Each team coming back out here onto the court after the timeout. The Lakers will have it after the made basket there from McGowan. Five fifteen to go. Worcester calling out the play. Hands it off there to Jackson. Now Jackson at the top of the key gives it to Big Smooth. He tries another three, short this time. Rebound goes to the Raiders. McGowan now right side wing finds Martin. Quick first step, gets the layup up, too strong there. Great look, though, by the sophomore. Nickel drives baseline, kicks out there to Worcester. Now Jackson with it, left side wing. Crossover, kick out there. Now Nickel has it. Back to Jackson on the right side wing. Under four and a half to go here in the ball game. Worcester for a three, knocks it home. Caleb Worcester has 11 points tonight. Benjamin Logan now down low, McGowan. He loses it. Worcester picks up the loose ball. Puts up a layup on the block, no good, but there's a whistle. They're gonna get Martin there on the foul. That ought to be his first. Six team foul there for Benjamin Logan. They pick up another. That will send any length there in the bonus. No good there on the first one there for Caleb Borster. 48-37. 11 point lead for Indian Lake. On your Quest Federal Credit Union scoreboard over Benjamin Logan with 4.03 here to go in the ball game. He misses both. Hands ball now with it. Finds Burry on the bounce pass. Tries to make a move on Evans, does McGowan. Martin, nice crossover, puts up the shot. And called no basket and a charge. Yeah. Benjamin Logan fans underneath us up here on top of the crow's nest does not like that call. I don't know if I agree with it either. Well, that's just something Logan Evans has done all season, um, being able to get that, like I said earlier. He steps in there. He know, he's, he's learned that's one of his specialties here for Indian Lake. No shot, whistle on the floor. Brady Burry picks up a foul. So with that foul, Worcester will be at the line for the one and one. Still an 11 point ball game, 48-37. Three and a half here to go in the fourth quarter. Any link on top. Worcester knocks home the first. Back end of the one and one is up and good. Rodenberger now bringing it across the court. For Benjamin Logan, drives in left side, kicks out McGowan now, left corner. Left wing is Burry, he drives in center lane, puts up a shot, no good. Great look there by Brady Burry. Tries to fight for the ball and they get the good, good look, goes out of bounds, last touch there by Andy Lake, so Benjamin Logan. We'll hold on to the basketball. Down by 13, 50 to 37. Great inside look there to McGowan. His shot good. Back to an 11 point ball game, 50 39. Deep three from Nickel, no good. They got Austin McGowan there with the foul. That's his fourth. Camden Tuttle out the line shooting one and one. 
Knocks home the first. What'd you see there, Ryan, on that foul down low? It's one of those things. Obviously, it's in, the official must have seen something a little more mm -hmm. than what we did here. I thought it was a nice hustle move. Should have maybe been a no call, but you know he's the one with the whistle, so yeah, he saw something we didn't. And so, Tuttle, Tuttle knocks home the second. 52-39 is the score, and he like on top over Benjamin Logan. Under three minutes to go here in the fourth quarter. Jacobs with it, down low, kicks out. Rodenberger, left side wing, he drives and puts up a little bunny. His shot no good, too short. Rebound goes to the lake. Nickel now gives it to Worcester. Worcester looked for the three, decided not to take it. Jackson now top of the key. Logan Evans, great recovery there. He was trying to cut down to the basket. Nickel drives in his shot, no good, too strong. Rebound. I believe they just gave a technical foul there to Brady Burry. They just they just cheat up Brady Burry. He must have said something because there was no interaction down there that I was watching that, that would have constituted the technical there. I mean... Very interesting call. Again, like you said, Ryan, we didn't see anything happen there. He must have said something to lead to that technical foul. Camden Tuttle hits the free throw. He has 10 tonight. Knocks home the second. And with that, Andy Lake will maintain possession. They get the free throw and, and the possession. So, and, and like that, now we're, you know, 54-39, 15-point game. It was so close going into, you know, even into the fourth quarter, I think Ben Logan had a chance that they could have chipped away and come into this, but, you know, they've gotten in a chance. I think this is this has basically been the M.O. for Indian Lake all season long. They come in, they're a volume shooting team. You've seen it, they knock down a couple threes in a row here and there, yeah. and all of a sudden what you thought was a single digit is now stretched to 15, and, uh, yeah, Indian Lake is really, they just, once they put their foot on the gas and they get it down to the floorboard, they're, they're not letting up. And we've seen it here in that fourth quarter. Pulled up. I mean, this team for the Lake really likes to shoot it deep. I mean, whether you're right on the line or three feet behind the three-point line, they're pulling up and they're, they're shooting their shot. Yeah, and when you got all five starters that can, shoot, can knock it down from outside, it, it makes it tough for any team to defend against them. Oh, for sure. I mean, Logan Evans is, you know, he doesn't have, score a lot of points but um, per game, but he's out there and he's contributing and he makes it that threat. you got to guard him outside. Out of the timeout, Indy Lake has it, 54-39. Jackson hands it off there to Worcester. Back to Nickel. Now Tuttle with it. And like just passing the ball around. Jackson spin moves off the drive, kicks out, top of the key. Now Worcester under two minutes to go. 15-point ball game, and he like on top, 54-39. Great ball movement there by the lake. Also got to credit the defense there for Benjamin Logan not allowing an, a good look. Worcester drives in from the right side. His shot up and in. Worcester has 15 tonight. You got three Lakers in double figures. Nickel with 20, Worcester with 15, and Tuttle with 11. And spa for Benjamin Logan. Picks up the loose ball, gives it to Burry. Looks down low there to Jacobs on the left side block. He puts up a shot, knocks it home. 56-41 now on the Quest Federal Credit Union scoreboard. 65 seconds here to go in the ball game. No foul call there on Burry, but they're going to call it down low. Or call it on Jacobs. It's his third. Mercer at the line for two. Misses the first. 
56-41 on the Quest Federal Credit Union scoreboard. 62 seconds here to go in your basketball game tonight on Mix 98.3 WPKO and PeakofOhioTV.com. Second one up and in. Rodenberger on the near side of the court. Trying to look for an open teammate. Dribbling around, drives in now. Looks down low to Jacobs. He puts it up, his shot blocked. Recovered by Indian Lake. Nickel now with it, 45 seconds of counting. Coach O calling out the play. Jackson has it. He drives in center lane, puts up the shot. Rolls around the rim, does not get it to go in. Benjamin Logan now with it, under 25 seconds here to go in the fourth quarter. Rodenberger pulls up. His shot no good, rebound goes to the lake. 57-41. And with that, Camden Tuttle gets it across the half-court line, and he'll just dribble out the remaining five seconds here in this basketball game. And you cannot, you cannot discredit anybody's effort in tonight's game. It was a great basketball game from both teams. As the horn sounds in your final score tonight, Indian Lake 57, Benjamin Logan 41. We're back to recap tonight's game. Look at your uh, final stats, and we'll get the Ryan Schofstall player of the game coming up here on Mix 98.3 WPKO and PeakofOhioTV.com. Two large sides and four biscuits. Only at Lee's Famous Four Chicken. And we're hiring. We want smiling faces, great cooks, and future leaders. Starting pay is $10, $12, $15 or more for the right person. To apply, text Lee's to 22100 or go to leesmiamivalley.com. Yeah, fine. Do you see a McDonald's restaurant and think of the great people that work there? We do. I'm Stacy Voorhees with your local McDonald's of Indian Lake. We are committed to our employees and our fans and invite you to consider working with us. Schedules are flexible to your availability and we are looking for smiles of all ages for all shifts. We hope you'll join our Indian Lake McFamily. To apply, just stop in at your Indian Lake McDonald's. McDonald's is an equal opportunity employer. That's McDonald's of Indian Lake, just off Route 33 in Russell's Point. Welcome back out here one final time to Benjamin Logan High School. I'm Tyler Avila with Ryan Schofstall. Your final score tonight on the Quest Federal Credit Union scoreboard. Any Lake, 57. Benjamin Logan, 41. And looking at the visiting team, the Indian Lake Lakers, they improved to 10-5. and 5-1 there in the Mad River Division of the CBC. They were led tonight by Caden Nickel. He had 20 points. Caleb Worcester was behind him with 16. Camden Tuttle with 11 and Vic Smooth, Logan Evans had seven tonight. Those are your top four scores for the Lake. And what about this game helped any Lake come out on top tonight? Um, I think it's just a thing with the course of the year. Uh, any Lake has, has got you know five players that it can want, they can take one of them can take over a game any night. Tonight we had um, you know Worcester and and Nickel. Both of them came out here. They were the high volume scores. But the athleticism of Indian Lakes team and as fast paced as they go, um, they wear out a lot of teams. You can see it with the record and teams, even the games that they've, they've lost. Um, you know, they're always high energy in there. Um, so, you know, that's the main thing. I think that their team experience, I mean, you're looking at two sophomores that had a lot of varsity experience last yeah. year. You've got a four-year starter in Luke Jackson. Um, you know, Caleb Worcester's got three years varsity experience. You know, these these starters, um, you know, they've got a lot of floor experience. That was the difference you and I was talking about before between Ben Logan and this year's team. They don't really have that previous experience in yeah. years, and that's showing with Indian Lake this year as the season's gone on. Looking at the home team, the Benjamin Logan Raiders with a loss, they fall to one in 15 on the season, one in six. They're in the CBC Mad River Division. 
They were led by Alec Rodenberger and uh, Breshawn Jacobs, the two uh, two of the f uh, four seniors on this Benjamin Logan Raiders basketball team with 13 points apiece. Austin McGowan had eight points tonight. But, I mean, it, they hung in there, the Raiders did, w with uh, Indian Lake. It, at the end of three, it was an eight-point ball game, 39-31, Indian Lake. Moving forward, what what do you see with this Benjamin Logan team? I didn't see a 1-14 team out there tonight. No. I really thought that they uh, they came out, they played tough. Um, they had a couple bad breaks in some, in some of the turnovers that turned into points for Indian Lake, and I think that was one of the things that added up to to the loss. But but I saw a Ben Logan team that really hustled. They played within themselves pretty much for the entire game. Um, so I think, um, you know, Coach Saylor, I think he's – He's got something to work with. I know he's got four seniors this year. Um, and uh, it's just uh, I think that you know, they might surprise somebody come tournament time. They could. They definitely could. Looking at both these teams and their schedules, they will be in action both tomorrow night. Andy Lake will be on the road taking on Bethel. Benjamin Logan will be back here at home tomorrow night hosting Triad. We'll be back here on Mix 98.3 WPKO on Tuesday. We'll have Kenton Ridge. On the road, taking on the Bell Fountain Chieftains. Ryan, thanks for coming out tonight. Greatly appreciate that. Before we sign off, who is the Ryan Shofstall player of the game? Um, I'm going to go with Caden Nickel. I mean, he he did a lot of things. You know, had a, some steals in there uh, that, that, you know, I think made a difference. Made some, uh, had some strategic rebounds. Um, you know, he was the high point guy tonight, but it wasn't the point so much that made him. It's... It's for such a young player, being a sophomore and being a starter, I know it's the second year of RC experience, but he really is showing and, and stepping up as a, as a player on the court. That he has. I've really seen a big growth from Nickel from freshman year to now in his sophomore season. Again, Ryan, thanks for coming out tonight and calling the game with me. I want to give a shout-out to Gary and Lou here uh, in the Crow's Nest with us, bringing you the game tonight on peakofohiotv.com. Shout-out to Xander back at the studio for – Putting this game on the radio tonight on Mix 98.3 WPKO. We greatly appreciate you tuning in, whether that be on the radio or on the web at peakofohiotv.com. For Tyler Vila and Ryan Showstall, your final score one final time tonight. Indy Lake, 57. Benjamin Logan, 41 on the Quest Federal Credit Union School Board. Have a great night. Stay warm out there. Be safe. We'll see you again on Tuesday. Thanks for joining us for tonight's game on Mix 98.3 WPKO and streaming at peakofohiotv.com. Tonight's game was thanks to Quest Federal Credit Union, McDonald's of Indian Lake, and Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken. Go back and watch this game anytime on the peakofohiotv.com YouTube channel.